What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. And today we did get updates for the game on console. Uh, the Xbox One version was version 1.18.4.0 and here on PS4 we got update version 1.56. I will link these patch notes for both of these down in the description but there was nothing different between either platform. The, the updates they received were both the same. These are very small updates, 430 megabytes on PS4 and 650 megabytes on Xbox One. But I'll go ahead and let you guys know what they did change. The Dungeon Explorer costume once again hides shields while they are docked on your character's back. They fixed a rare case where some inventory items would disappear when evolving the Endric under very specific circumstances. Also, the Probably the biggest fix out of all of this to me was the things in the general or kind of miscellaneous fixes. They fixed a memory leak that could cause crashes and degrade performance, particularly when participating in combat or in high traffic zones for long periods of time. Fixed a crash that could happen when retrieving an item from your guild bank. And both of those lately on PS4 have been big issues, of course, blue, uh, blue screens. I have had issues in the guild bank, in my own personal bank, where the game would crash or it would just freeze up and I'd have to close the application on PS4. So I know you guys on Xbox have a lot of the same issues, especially in Cyrodiil when you're fighting, you know, in those long kind of big battles. Uh, same kind of situation on PS4. We have a lot of crashing problems or freezing problems. So hopefully this will kind of be a look at what we can expect to see from the game kind of throughout the year with the uh, kind of per, uh, performance improvements. And last but not least, they fixed a handful of typos or translation errors involving the Greymore pre-purchase items. Like I said, guys, not a very big update, but those kind of fixes for crashes, I, I think is going to be a good thing if they do work. Like I said, hopefully this will kind of be a precursor or kind of a look into the future of what we can expect throughout the year with all of the game improvements for performance that they're looking to make. And if this can start helping with crashes on all the consoles and, of course, when they start doing this kind of stuff on PC as well, I think a lot of people will be very happy with these kind of updates. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.